The Captain Captain Pop Blitz. 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 Movie City for the Flex. Movie City for the Flex. Movie City for the Flex. The Captain Talks Flex. Welcome to the Captain Talk 6 Podcast. I'll be your host, the Captain Cortez, a.k.a. Mr. Love, and this is where we talk flicks. I welcome the podcast, the podcast with me, the Captain, to talk movies, TV, sports, flicks, anything you see in the tube or screen. I'd like to get in here and give my unique perspective, because after 45 years of being on planet Earth, I've developed a unique perspective by this movies, TV, sports, and flicks, I'd like to get here and tell you about it. Because just maybe, just maybe you care. And according to the stats, looks like you do care. I want to give a big shout out to Turkey. Got some plays over in Turkey this past week. Can I see his gratitude? In Turkey, I always wanted to try some Turkish coffee. But I haven't done it yet, but I've heard it's good. And I also heard that you can tell fortunes with coffee, with the coffee grounds from Turkish coffee. So one of these days, I'm going to go to my local spot. Because we have a spot here that sells Turkish coffee. I'm going to give me some Turkish coffee, read my fortune, great, great afternoon, great enjoyment. I'm going to do that soon. Or maybe, maybe someday I can dream I can go to Turkey and have and have Turkish coffee in Turkey. How awesome that'd be. And eat Turkey too. Drink Turkish coffee, eat Turkey in Turkey. Wow, wouldn't it be amazing? Um, but maybe someday. But just FYI, back in the day when school was radio DJ, but I never got a job. I think what it was is because I never had Turkish coffee. I couldn't become a radio DJ because to become a radio DJ, it's a must that you drink Turkish coffee. You would not be an awesome DJ if you never drank Turkish coffee. I never drank it, so I believe that's why I never became a radio DJ. But that allowed me to become the greatest podcaster in the multiverse. It's up to debate. Maybe true, might not be true. But I said it on the internet, right? So it's got to be true because everything on the internet is facts. I'm almost positive that is not correct. Pretty sure everything in the internet is not facts. Almost positive. So what you hear, what you see, what you read, be cautious. Take it with a grain of salt. Just be, you know, be aware. Mindfully look at things on the internet. Just be cautious. No, but I can ramble here all day, but I won't. Let's get right into the podcast. But first, a word from our sponsor. The pandemic is almost over, baby. It is almost done. Next week, next Tuesday, in my state, all the restrictions are done, done, finished. It's been a long journey, but it's almost over. So you might as well go get some new gear because you're going to be out and about, going places, seeing people, right? Seeing people going places. You might as well have some new t-shirts. Might as well have some new hats, some flip flops, some chocolates. Get some, just get you something, so you can be out there and meet your fly ladies, fly dudes, right? You want to attract other sexes, and get some dates, right? You know we be cooped up in, inside. I heard people want to go on a date like crazy, so get some new fly threads, some new fly shirts, hats, sandals, chocolates, right? Some new some some people don't have, and we can help you with that over at the existing fictions out store. I'll put the link below, and you can look fly. And get you a significant other. Or maybe an insignificant other. Or a side piece. Or whatever. Get whatever you gotta do. Do what you gotta do. I'll put the link below. We'd like to help you with that. So check it out. And now let's get on the podcast. Ladies and gentlemen. I'm recording this today on a Saturday morning. And it's gonna drop Sunday. Tomorrow. I just had a cup of coffee from Ecuador. Some Ecuadorian coffee. Grind the beans myself. Drank the coffee. Had some nice breakfast, relaxed, chill, getting ready to podcast, fired up the system, fired up the matrix, getting ready to record the vocals, and then, all of a sudden, technical difficulties. Have you ever watch a show and sometimes they'll throw up like a screen that says, you know, technical difficulties? I don't know if they do it no more. Back in the day, they used to do it a lot. They may not do it as much as they used to, but back in the day, you'd see like a screen say, hold for technical difficulties. Well, I had some technical difficulties today. And I didn't care for him a whole lot. I was ready to go, fired up, ready to get on here and spit that raw. <laughs> spit that raw. And technical difficulties happened. So I spent like two hours 
figuring the technical difficulties out so I can get these to you. I was ready to give up. I was like, I'm done. I ain't doing this. I'm, I'm done. I can't do this. I said, I'm quit. <laughs> but I got to get you guys a podcast. Because I know people from around the globe are anxiously awaiting. Maybe not anxiously awaiting. I don't know, maybe you're not even waiting. But I do see them get plays from all over the globe. Shout out to Mako, Turkey, Saudi Arabia, Germany, Africa, all Africa. Africa playing all day. I props to you. Appreciate it. Can't let you guys down. I know you're going to want to hear the podcast. I got him out here, you know, just, just to make your day a little brighter. So I went through the two hours of technical difficulties, solved the issue, and here I am broadcasting live and direct to your eardrums. And now here we are back. And what I want to talk about today is that on Picard Day, a trailer for Picard Season 2 dropped. Right? I, was unexpe- I wasn't even expecting it. I posted a uh, Captain Picard like uh, meme early in the day. And fast forward, I checked the net later in the day. All of a sudden, trailer or teaser trailer for season two. And ladies and gentlemen, if you follow Star Trek and you follow Next Generation, you'd be very pleasantly surprised or happy or shocked. I don't know what I'm about to tell you. But none other than John Delancey, Q himself. Q, I'm not talking about those guys that wear red hats. That's what I'm talking about that for Q. Not Red Hat Q. I'm talking about the Q from back in the day that I'm a nitting, I'm a nipping it, I'm in present, I'm in that game per se. The godlike guy from Star Trek that all he's got to do is snap his fingers and make anything happen, right? So earlier today when I was having technical difficulties, if I would have been Q, I could have just did this, been fixed. But since I'm a mere mortal human being, I had to do other things. <laughs> Some days it'd be nice to be Q. Because generally, Q can do whatever he wants just by doing this. Right? Um, Gotta go somewhere. Alright. I need something to eat. Um, Need to fix my technical deals. I need to get the podcast done. Um, Bring Picard Season 2 here sooner. Make Picard Season 3 here sooner. Put Discovery on right now. Um, Give that Spy TV show on right now. (laughs) That's it. That's all he does. You know, he just snaps his fingers. And so so he's been a... uh, a foe, a nemesis, a foil to Picard for a considerable amount of time. He also was in some of the other shows as well. And so he was back in the trailer. And I was so happy. Because I've been wanting to see Q back somewhere in Star Trek, someplace, somewhere for a long time. Q has been one of my favorite characters. The Q, One of my favorite quotes of all time comes from the next generation, all good things. It's from Q. He says, Exploration's not about charting stars and mapping nebula. It's about charting the unknown possibilities and existence. Ah, I can't even. I, 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 can't, I know. I, now that I'm on the spot, I can't say it. Anyways, Q says this great quote. And I got a post all over the place. I love it so much. Shout out to the writers who wrote that. It's fantastic. But Q has just been a very interesting character testing humanity in some days as I walk this path of life I feel there's an invisible cue sometimes testing me over the years because there's been experiences like wow this is something else right this is a cue testing me it should be interesting to see what Q's role is in season 2 if a little big what I don't know but you know when Q is involved if Q is there you best believe some craziness is gonna happen because generally every time Q shows up it's not fun but there's always a lesson afterwards. You always find out more about yourself after dealing with Q. Right? He's a, he's a, he's a very, he puts you in very um, difficult circumstances. But when you come out the other side, you feel you've grown. Right? So it should be interesting to see what happens with Q. So I saw there's other things going on in the trailer. But the teaser trailer. But the main thing was like, Q on the screen. John Delancey. Oh my gosh. Finger snap guy. Snap fingers. It's beautiful. I think I put a link on the Twitter uh, Twitter Twitter page. Check that out if you, if you follow us. So that, that, that dropped on Picard Day. And another thing I want to talk about is when I was scrolling the tube this week, TV, the internet, the Instagram, I'll be honest, I can't remember exactly where I saw this at. But I saw it somewhere. I saw it on a screen. Could have been a phone screen, TV screen, computer screen, some screen. But there's a commercial. A commercial by one of my other favorite dudes. A dude I look at as inspiring and has accomplished a lot. You may know him as the RZA. 
I call him Bobby Diggs, Robert Diggs, because he's my buddy. He's not. <laughs> but I've been following the Rizzo for a long time, since the 90s. Been heavily influenced by his art, his movies, his music, his production, his lyrics. He's, 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 a, he's an awesome artist. But what I want to talk about is this week, I saw the Rizzo in the advertisement for Cadillac. Right? The car Cadillac. Cad- Did I told you they built caddies in my backyard? That's legit. They built Cadillacs like like, like maybe eight miles down from where I'm at. Right? There's there's Cadillacs being built right now as we speak. So Cadillacs are built here. You know, from where, I, where I'm at. You know what I mean? But, but it's interesting that RZA is doing an ad for Cadillac. Because if you rewind back to the 90s when Wu-Tang was first coming out, I'm pretty sure, and this is no disrespect to, to anybody, but I'm sure you asked RZA himself to tell you the same thing. Chances are you're probably not going to see any of those guys in a Cadillac commercial. So we can't have those guys in Cadillac commercial. Oh my gosh, no way. Because back when they first came out, their music was raw to some people. I always thought it was great. I always thought the Wu-Tang was great. But to some people's eardrums, I'm like, this is a little too much. This is like, yeah, that's too much. Right? But, but the, the, the fast forward now, like I said in one of the other podcasts somewhere, they were on Good Morning America, and now Riz is selling Cadillacs. The, the, um, he's doing a commercial for Cadillac and they got a new audio system in their car uh, by AKG Audio now full disclosure I don't work for them but in this studio setup I got it's all I use all AKG products that's part of the reason why maybe I got the ad um, but um, they're, they're, they're fine there's no ad or whatever but the products seem to work well for me anyways he's doing an ad for uh, for Cadillacs with the, with the AKG sound system in it and I was already aware of this because, like I said, I follow AKG. So I've seen that they got that caddy with the with that sound system in there. I bet you it sounds good. Their audio, I mean, I'm not, this is no plug. I don't work for nothing, but their audio sounds great. It, it's a fantastic. They got fantastic products. And everybody knows a caddy is dope. Caddy been dope for decades, right? I'm not big and heavy in the cars and all that, but Cadillacs are pretty dope. Straight up, there they are. They're nice. And you add that sound system in there. Whoa, I bet you that's a nice ride. I bet you expensive, too. But anyways, um, the, just the fact that I saw RZA doing an ad for it, like, it just blows my mind, man. Like, how mainstream, you know, RZA became. Right, you know, Ice Cube went mainstream maybe like a decade ago, maybe even before that. And when I saw Ice Cube going mainstream, that was a shocker, too. If you listen to some of Ice Cube's early stuff, you're like, wow. Well, I was like, wow, back then. Like, wow, Ice Cube's mainstream now, right? RZA's mainstream. These guys are raw, raw, raw stuff. Right now, mainstream is so dope. Major companies and brands are recognizing these guys like, bro, they have value. They're awesome. We always knew they had value. But now corporate America's like, these guys got value. Let's, let's, let's put them on, right? And it's so awesome. So respect, hand claps. Because it's cool to see these guys, man, like, get mainstream status. When, you know, us back in the day, we all knew. We knew we knew what they We knew they were awesome. We heard their art. We knew it. And now they're just more on a bigger platform. They're reaching to more people than they used to back in the day. And I think that's fantastic. I did, I'll be honest. I'm performing to the net. The last thing I expected to see was like the RZA in a Cadillac commercial. Someone expected. So congratulations, RZA. I know we don't know each other. But it seems throughout the years, certain things that happen, like, like connect with me. Like, you know, I saw a video with you in, a, it was a Samurai, the Samurai cartoon. And you saw your studio. And there were some things in your studio that were kind of like, similar to mine as well so it seems we have some like cosmic connection or something whatever but props to you Riza. awesome good to see you in that commercial get your money do your thing hand your business good to see you just getting the the accolades and props too yeah so that's awesome and the last thing I want to talk about is um you know those viral videos you see all over the place you ever see those viral videos every right you ever see viral videos you see they'll be somewhere on YouTube Instagram like whatever these viral videos of generally real life situations where real life situations are things that don't normally happen and usually it's in a negative it's not such a great situation we laugh at them we joke and they've got and everybody points fun at them but if you were in a viral video it wouldn't be fun to you we can sit and watch these and laugh and joke but the people that experience these viral videos generally are not in a good spot usually so I was at my local store recently Buying some things. You know, I gotta buy stuff. The cat's like that, but does he buy stuff? I had to buy things, right? Go to the store. And I'm in the checkout. A situation happens 
where I almost could have transitioned into viral video st uh, star, right? Had interaction with another Patreon customer in how I reacted to that particular situation could have dictated, does the captain go viral? I'll just let you know, I don't want to go viral. <laughs> But I was caught in one of those circumstances you see in a viral video. And my choice, what I had choice and my reaction could have dictated viral or not viral. In that particular situation, due to my years and years of reading, studying, and meditation, and Buddhism, and all this, I made the choice that led to a non-viral situation, right? But other people put in that situation could have made the choice to go viral. So what I want to say is like, we watch these viral videos out there. And we watch them. But I'm going to say, probably 90% of them, you wouldn't want to be in that viral video. And you know what I'm talking about. I'm not going to get in here and talk about whatever goes on them, because you know. I'm sure anyone that hears this has seen viral videos, and you know exactly what I'm talking about. You know all the weird happening goes on. So I'll, let you, I'll leave it to your imagination to, to imagine what the captain experience was that could have been viral. I was in the store. There's, there's numerous things could happen. And I just leave it at that. I just let your imagination figure it out. But I did make the choice that led to a non-viral situation, which is good because I don't want to be viral. I don't want virality. I don't know that's a word. It might be a word. I don't know. Whatever. Anyway, so now as I said, sign off on this podcast. I would think it's safe to say that we don't really want to be in a viral video 90% of the time. Maybe 10% of the time, they're good. They're fun. They're, they're, they're positive, right? A lot of times, they're not. So it's just um, when you're out in the world and you're in a situation that could escalate to viralness, think before you act and make decisions that'll lead in a more positive direction. Because Captain did it. And I'm glad I didn't go viral. Thank you. So anyways, that's all I want to talk about this week. I just want to talk about car trailer, teaser trailer. You should go check it out because Picard is awesome. Reza and a caddy. And... Do you want to be in a viral video? No, I think not. Maybe you do. I don't know. Maybe you do. Who knows? I don't know. I don't Who knows? Maybe you do. And that's all I want to talk about this week. Gracias. Gratitude. I appreciate you listening. I did with an extra two hours of, of <laughs> technical difficulties for you guys. Because I love you. And that's what we got to do. And I'll be complete before I sign off. I was frustrated for a moment. And I had to bring it back to that, that meditation mindset. But just, to, just full disclosure. You may hear these podcasts say the captain's cool, collective, he's got it all together. No, I have my moments where I get stressed and I get frustrated. This is one of them. But I reeled it in, I got back to my to my, my baseline mindfulness self and put in the work was necessary and got this podcast done and ready to go. So um gracias, gratitude. Thanks for joining me. And until next time, we'll see. Great things are not done by impulse, but by a series of small things brought together. Vincent Van Gogh. Until next time, it's Captain Peace. The Captain, the Captain Talks, Talks Flicks. Flicks.